So, is it possible to hitchhike in Kazakhstan? Who knows? Every change has a reason Baby, let it come to you Every soul, every season Lives outside of status quo If we stop it, We weren't too sure about this because we know there's gypsy cabs and also, oh, we're traveling with a baby so should we hitchhike in Kazakhstan? This is something we explored a lot and it took a lot of thinking through, a little bit of practice, and I think you know where we're going with this because I'm smiling, so it must be good. Oh, what is it? Who knows? Stay tuned. <laughs> because it's on. hitchhiking in Kazakhstan and we loved it and we want to break down if you're thinking of hitchhiking um, officially the line is do it at your own risk um, do it at your own risk of meeting really nice people that are the salt of the earth <laughs> so we really do love hitchhiking and we would never get in a car that we didn't feel safe in now that we have a baby that bar has really raised and to be honest we found that a lot of the hitching rides were better than local transport mm. and taxis so we actually felt safer getting picked up in these one point we got picked up in this massive armoured vehicle <laughs> by this really kind guy that I wish I could meet him again. If you're watching this, thank you. He was like... He was from the Ministry of Defence and Foreign Affairs. He was, and I've never felt safer. <laughs> so, um, hitchhiking is possible in Kazakhstan and the people are amazing. We, we met the most amazing people through hitchhiking and we absolutely loved it. And some of the things that you have to know though is that... Um, whether you're hitchhiking locally or afar, we'll get to that in a second, um, you do have to check for seatbelts and we always have a seatbelt mm. now. We didn't used to notice before, which is probably irresponsible, but since having a baby, we make sure that we can keep our little one safe whilst we're travelling. Um, but I'll let you get into the difference between um, local, like trying to hitch locally and if it's really possible mm. like further afield and the whole difference between gypsy cabs and Hitchhiking, you, you, yeah. you, you won't pick that. So to basically to get around the cities, within the cities, you can do what's called a gypsy cab. Now a gypsy cab is basically any person going anywhere who happens to be willing to stop and pick you up. And if you're in a city and you want to go across the city, just stand at the side of the road, hold your hand out and wait and someone will stop. It feels really weird. You basically tell them where you're going to go, agree a price. And if you like the looks of them, the car, you feel like you're going to be safe going with them, jump in and that's just kind of how the gypsy mm -hmm. car thing works. Now there are also marked taxis in the cities too mm -hmm. so you can arrange a marked taxi if you feel safer doing that. I would recommend also doing that and the price difference is normally not too too big so either mm -hmm. way that's a great way to get around the city. But if you're trying to go out of the city and between cities or you want to go further afield it's going to be really tricky from the city to get out of the city so what you want to do is get yourself a shared taxi and they're still quite cheap especially for the distances you can go you just need to know what the best place is so do a little bit of research you'll need a little bit of russian and agree on a taxi to drop you off at a, at a convenient spot so for example if you're going to charing canyon from almaty um you'd want to get to the turning of charing canyon they won't take you all the way there if it's one of these cheaper shared taxis but at that point when you get out that's where you can begin hitchhiking yeah. and it's so important to have a little bit of Russian at this point just knowing prices asking how much things are because it could yeah. still be mixed signals people will still want to charge you and if you're really genuinely traveling on the budget or you just want to hitchhike and go for free you're going to need to ask that when you get into the car but the answer to whether it's possible to hitchhike absolutely some yeah. people will be very willing to take you for free and you might just need to wait a bit longer and just remember to have a bit of Russian be friendly and always um try and offer some money or at least agree on the yeah. price. Yeah, make sure that bit's clear. And if you're worried about the speaking Russian thing, um, you can either have a go old school, have a Russian phrase book with you, mm. or download the Google Translate. And people oh, are really used well. Yeah, people are really mm. used to this and they're often really eager to understand you. So even if you mm. don't speak Russian like magically, then <laughs> like for real, just take a translation device and have that ready because that really helped a lot. So yeah, it's, um, it is totally possible. We did find that basically in the cities, it was mostly gypsy cabs and taxis, and then our best hitchhiking journeys were outside the cities. So a really handy tip if you are hitchhiking, instead of taking a gypsy cab, um, is to actually hitchhike like that. So typically when you're trying to bike down um, a cab over in Kazakhstan, because the cabs and the gypsy cabs are expecting people to do this, um, you'll notice people put their hands out like that. And if you do that, that's great, cars will stop for you. 
Um, but we noticed if you put your thumb out like this, you are communicating, I'm hoping for a free ride because it's not the typical hand flat. So um, some people may advise you to put your hand out flat like that, but actually use your thumb and you're, it's actually a really clever tip for filtering through to people, kind of communicating you're probably wanting to go for a free hitchhike. Um, so definitely do that if you're really on a tight budget and hoping to hitch, or if you just want to re meet really nice people who want to hitch. <laughs> One of the disadvantages of these longer distance taxis is they can often get quite crowded because what they'll do yeah. is it'll be a shared taxi and they'll fill up. If you want it to be private, it'll be quite expensive. Mm -hmm. So hitchhiking genuinely is a really good shot for getting around Kazakhstan. Sadly, I've read comments from travellers who have said, well, we were here and we tried to get a taxi, but it was just too expensive as outside mm -hmm. their budget and they missed out on experiences in Kazakhstan really because they couldn't yeah. afford on their travel budget to go to these cool places. Yeah. So it's worth giving it a go, especially if you're a budget traveller. Totally. Um, if budget's not your issue then you can hire cars, um, so you find mm. internationals to drive. Um, the roads are quite scary but if you're <laughs> up for that go for it. Of course you can take taxis and private cars like Pete said but that is all the higher budget end. So we love hitchhiking because it saves money but actually we love it because you meet amazing people. So that's our little video on hitchhiking. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you again so much for joining us. And um, please give us a thumbs up. And um, if it's your first time here, hitchhiking, boy. yay, thumbs up, <laughs> hey. And then, and then go subscribe, but not with a thumbs down. I, I can't do that because that just looks like a thumbs down. <laughs> so subscribe and thumbs up. I made a real mess of that. Guys, thank you so much for joining us. We hope this video has been helpful. Brilliant. This is incredible. We barely have time to film. We've got, oh wow, in the middle of nowhere, which we are. We'll have ages to film something to tell you um, how difficult it is uh, hitchhiking in the middle of nowhere in Kazakhstan. And uh, minutes in, these very kind people have stopped and offered us a lift straight to the lake we're going to. Oh, here we go. This is an amazing example of how wonderful the Kazakh people are. We were there for a few minutes and the first car to turn, down the turning we needed to go, they picked us up and made space for us. And it's quite an amazing car actually. So we're even getting a comfortable ride. Incredible. <laughs> and then they just, oh wow, check this out.